We're going to continue on our trend here of just some formula field um, videos. Uh, we're going to look at the add months uh, formula right now. So if I come into object manager, I get a lead fields and relationships, and I'm going to hit new. So the add months formula, what we're trying to do is add months to a date field. So if I come in here and I'm just going to say add months example, uh, I want the formula return type to be a date. Uh, let's say for one reason or another, I want to measure a month after something happens. Maybe I have a custom timestamp on an object. I have some type of uh, routing that I need to happen or something like that. I'm going to uh, use an add months formula to set that threshold a month after something is created is, is what I'll was what I'm about to show. Um, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, okay, lead create a date, right? I'm going to open up my function and then I'm going to look at the add months, add months function here, add the number of months to the date using the last date of the month. If date is the last day of the month or adding number of months has fewer days. So I'm going to come in here, say add months open. I have my date that I want to add months to, and I'm just going to say one. You can see that I get no errors here. One month after created date. Treat blank fields as blanks. Make sure it's visible to everyone. Go ahead and put it on my layout so we can look at it. Now let's go take a look. So if we're coming to leads, click on this random lead here, come to details. Uh, it should be on the layout somewhere here. Okay. Here's my add months example. So created by myself on this day, look at the add months. I added one month to that date. Uh, so it is four fourteen.